Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Thousands of pupils have been forced to miss school in Edinburgh today because of safety fears, and some of them won't be back until next week. 17 schools built under a private finance programme are being checked by structural engineers due to concerns about the standard of construction in the buildings. Jane Deeth reports now from Edinburgh. In a winter storm, bricks started falling off the wall of Oxgang's primary in Edinburgh. And it turns out it's not an isolated problem and it could lead to a huge private finance schools deal crumbling. Builders came in to repair it, and it was soon discovered that the serious structural problems with the fixings went beyond just this one wall. In fact, they go beyond this school. Many are wondering how such serious issues weren't known about before. Because construction problems have been found at three other schools, in all 17 are shut while structural surveys are done. Leanne Barnes' daughter, Aaliyah, is at Oxgang's nursery. Demi should be at the primary school. It was a shock hearing it wasn't safe, but Leanne says the council gave parents no time to plan. If other parents are in full-time work, obviously it's been quite hard. Um, especially they've not got like money, like financial status to get childcare and everybody's relying on friends and family to obviously help them out really. If they knew the school wasn't going to return this day, why leave it within less than 24 hours to notify us all? Jamie Anderson's high school, Firhill, is also shut. I'm finding it wild that I'm off school for a bit. <laughs> Mum, are you finding it wild? No. <laughs> I'd rather he was at school so I can go about doing my thing. So I'm usually out and about during the day. And then, obviously, being off school, I'm going to have to take them with me anywhere. Erin Healy's at the same school and has exams coming up. It's very stressful because, you know, some people, like, need to be in school to revise, like, they don't know how to do it on their own, and there's not many resources out there. The schools were all built or refurbished under a public-private finance deal. A consortium called the Edinburgh Schools Partnership won a 30-year, £360 million contract to manage the schools. The City Council says the partnership will pay for this crisis. We made it very, very clear to Edinburgh Schools Partnership uh, uh, both our disappointment and the fact that they are responsible and accountable for making good both the buildings and paying for any of the consequences of the contingency plans we have to put in place. The building work was done by a firm called Miller Construction, which has since been taken over. Today, the Edinburgh Schools Partnership apologised to families and said, The standard of building work carried out by Miller Construction is completely unacceptable, and we are undertaking full structural surveys on all PPP1 schools to determine the scale of the problem. Edinburgh Schools Partnership will accept full financial responsibility for investigating and resolving these issues to ensure that each and every school undergoes all necessary remedial work. Miller Construction was taken over by a group called Galliford Tri. It says it values safety above all else, supports the precautionary school closures and will remedy any more issues that arise. There have been calls for all public-private contracts in Scotland to be reviewed. But right now, all Scottish councils have been told to do the necessary checks on their buildings. And tonight, Edinburgh Council couldn't say when the city's affected pupils would be able to get back to their education. Jane Deeth reporting. I've been